Hey yo, what up fam? So we are back with another video and today it's going to be a little bit different. It will be the 25,000 subscriber Q&A. You guys dropped a lot of questions that we felt like really good questions. It really made us think outside the box, you know. Um, that also includes a lot of anime questions, which is the majority of this channel right now. Mm -hmm. um, so truly excited to answer them um we've checked out some of the questions we have you know not all of them but we'll go along and just you know answer them as we go so with that being said um make sure you guys go ahead and get your drinks and get your snacks because this is about to be lit yeah. so let's start off with adam m he has like it's like a five question actually so thinking about discord favorite country you've been to favorite country to go to what do you love the most and cannot live without and why is it eventually will you watch anime movies like the one piece and my hero academia ones okay well let's start off with the discord we've thought about discord i really don't know how we would run it i've never really done discord before how to interact over there it's it's like literally a brand new thing maybe in the future once we figure it out i know a lot of reactors do discords mm -hmm. uh i've seen in the description like go ahead follow us on discord or whatever but i never really figured out what discord was so once we figure it out then yeah, we're, yeah. we'll think about that yeah. so favorite country you've been to favorite country to go to Favorite country you've been to? Favorite country I've been to? Uh, I love Mexico. I'm okay. sorry. <laughs> I think uh, I was going to say the Philippines. No. no. Okay. I thought so. you were going to say Korea. Oh, well, yes. Uh, we haven't really been to Korea. Like, we would just. I have. Well, you have. I haven't. i just oh. been in the airport. Uh, but my favorite country, obviously, I love Mexico. Uh, and favorite country to go to, um, I would have to say Philippines. Nah, Philippines? Like, no. Philippines is, If you've never been to Philippines, Philippines like been. so chill. Like for me, it was so chill. So Okay, so for me, favorite country you've been to, um, I would say Korea. Uh, I did like, there was like a 12-hour stop where um, we had to get out of, you know, out of the airport and mm -hmm. actually visit and you know we had a tour guide checked out the whole place it's it's kind of like um like a like a trailer to <laughs> to korea you know what i'm saying uh so it was uh it makes me want to visit the place even more so mm -hmm. um uh it got me curious i mean you've seen the airport it was super clean man like literally yes. you could eat food off of the ground bro <laughs> for like, real um that would be a country i would want to visit though yeah Favorite country to go to, uh, right now really just, I don't really have one. I would say Philippines, but that would be kind of like, yeah, you know? Well, I mean, you go there all, well, yeah, not often, but, but that's, that's to go to, yeah. not been, been in. Yeah. So to go to would probably be just Philippines because mm -hmm. it's really just the country that I've, you know, that I often go to, mm -hmm. you know? Okay. So third question, what do you love the most and cannot live without and why is it? I would say it would be the our dogs. Yes. Yeah. Our doggies. I cannot live without them. Like I can't even picture the day. You know, the day that that day yeah, has to come. Never, like I, I never want to like really picture that though. It's, yeah. So, but but the fact that uh, we've lost them one time, they ran off. Like yo, it was the oh worst. Oh my god. Two three hours <laughs> of our life, bro. Like if for those of you guys that have pet, pets, yo, yeah, you you guys you guys get it. Like if you guys ever had your pets ran off and or loss uh yo it's probably it hurts man. yes like, quick story the worst part about it was that the day before we showered them and they did not have their colors yeah. on so obviously we had if somebody found them there was like no communication within us and them right. so we were out there looking i was like freaking crying shaking yeah, it was man. just a scary experience all right so uh the fifth question eventually will you watch anime movies like the one piece and my hero academia Yes, we yes. will. Um, we'd love to react to it as well, rather than just watching it on our own. Um, we will eventually do that, but in order for us to do that, we, you guys already know, we're already kind of behind with a lot of our schedules when it comes to, you know... Are, uh, the, are the movies, like, like okay, let's say One Piece movies, 
are they after the whole season like everything's done um, or I'm, it... I'm not even really sure actually it i mean the movies don't really connect with the anime oh okay. sometimes it's kind of sometimes it does but sometimes it's not really connected to the anime it's not mm-hmm. really like it's kind of like almost like a filler i guess okay but you guys already know um we're tied on schedule um we're still trying to figure out how to even post some of the videos that we're missing out on right now and so we apologize for that but once you know everything smoothens out we get our rhythm back up again then yeah we will consider watching a one piece mm-hmm. um my hero academia movie especially if we're not like posting you know a series that day so it, it'd be kind of cool to just kind of you know yeah. give you guys something different on this channel but yeah we are thinking about doing you know movies as well mm-hmm. Brianna Sandoval has two questions, I believe, um, because I remember she kind of commented separately, but I only found two. Mm -hmm. So Brianna Sandoval set our ass pancakes or waffles. What's one thing you guys do every day? So let's go with pancakes or waffles. Waffles. Duh. Is that even a question? (laughs) (laughs) Waffles any day. Yeah, I go for waffles. What's one thing you guys do every day? Um, one thing that we love to do or one thing that we do every day that it's like a part of our routine is literally just movie day Mm -hmm. it's it sounds so lazy because you know that's like two hours of your day but like really we cannot miss like watching a movie like sometimes we rewatch movies that we've seen in the past you know like you know it just it brings back i don't know it's just like especially like towards like the end of the night we're just like want to like just relax we just like to uh have movie days movie nights um yeah that also includes when after we're done filming yeah um rendering videos and stuff we actually take time of watching our movies and mm-hmm. sometimes when we don't get to film because we have like a busy day um it's just something that we end our nights with john smith has two questions as well do you guys have jobs apart from youtube if you do what are they a bit of weird one but if you had any devil fruit what would it be mm okay Mm -hmm. so it's getting to the anime question a little bit more i mean adam did ask anime questions but Mm -hmm. mostly a little more personal but yeah we're getting a little bit deeper into the anime okay so let's go with do you guys have jobs apart from youtube if you do what are they go ahead um we do work in an after school program uh it's where i don't know what you guys call it in your state but in california i believe they call it the bridge program Mm -hmm. and in which we get to like kind of you know mentor kids you guys have kids of your own and um and uh they do have like a little after school program kind of thing that they attend to that's what we do Mm -hmm. uh we are the staff that works for the after school program like he coaches the kids because he does sports yeah unlike me i have like the little tiny ones have like the kinder and first graders and they're so cute um and i'm with them for like five hours of the day so um yeah it's 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 fun it's obviously fun being with little kids and it's also fun mentoring kids are you know moving on i feel like my where, where i'm at is that middle school is like the transition between being these little kids to being like almost a young adult you know to yeah. high school so uh, they, they start to you know um start to feel like they can be adults so i, I love to mentor those kids uh, a bit of weird one if you had any devil fruit what would it be here's the thing about devil fruits we don't know much about them but if it <laughs> if it was when it came to dev- devil fruit um I would just base it off of like I'm just answer it in a way that we've seen all like the characters from One Piece. Uh, I will let's just say like from all like the the abilities that they've had because I, I really don't want to like kind of stretch out like the abilities, like, mm-hmm. you know. So if I could have a devil fruit, I would want something similar to Smoker. Really? Yeah. Of course. Really? Of course. Yeah. Come on, Smoker. Mm-hmm. Like his devil fruit is pretty wrong yeah yeah it's dope what would be yours mine uh just something that makes me strong really strong super basic or invisible i'm just kidding again (laughs) just kidding (laughs) all right next question (laughs) and phoenix on a scale from one to ten how would you rate one piece black clover and my hero based on what you've seen so far and why did you give them that number for example if you think one piece is a nine and my hero is a six what makes One Piece so good and what makes my hero not as good? 
That's a really, really good question. Yeah. Um, let's start off with One Piece. One Piece, I'll give it a, I give it a nine out of ten. Okay, I'd give it a nine out of ten too. Black Clover would be a solid eight point five out of ten, and My Hero would be a solid eight out of ten. So no, no, eight point five as well. Actually, eight point five. So it's 10. equal as Black Clover. Yeah. Um, same same thing with me. Obviously, like you know, um, like I've told you guys, I'm getting into anime, and I really enjoy watching all these animes, like Pearl, like, um, so Black Clover and My Hero are kind of like you know they're equal too. Like I really enjoy them. Right. So I get. So, them, but uh, why? Uh. What what would what makes One Piece so good, and why is it a nine for you? What makes One Piece so good? Yeah. Um. Obviously, uh, well, I mean, for me, One Piece is like. I mean, it's totally like different. Like, there's so much. Um, it's like, it's obviously things that you would never expect mm. that are like, okay, you know, you never know what's gonna happen next. Okay. Kind of thing, and that's why I really like One Piece. You can never. Like, you know, it's totally different. Um, and obviously, Black Clover and My Hero, it's kind of like your, not your, well, especially My Hero is kind of like your typical, like, superhero. Right. Okay, well, for me, um, I felt like One Piece is a nine because, I mean, I don't usually give tens. Like, it's, it's really got to shock me. Like, maybe towards the very, like, once we know more about One Piece, but as far as what we've seen with One Piece, mm -hmm. it is a nine, a solid nine, but it is a nine for me because of the complex, like, um, story. Mm -hmm. And um, there's just so much more to learn. And at the same time, it's so much more to learn, but they actually go into details to, like, the stuff that they're presenting you, that they're throwing on your face mm -hmm. is that they're actually it's more detailed you know there's like backstory for little things you know to kind of make you connect with the story you know right. black clover my hero for me when we first watched it here's the reason why it's an 8.5 and evenly because when we first watched it i don't know how it is with you guys because i don't know if you guys ever watched them at the side same by time. side yeah <laughs> it was literally the same it's literally the same from the moment when we watched the first second episode First, second episode of Black Clover, My Hero. Um, mm. You have this one character that doesn't have power. Yeah. But he works hard, you know. Um, mm -hmm. Deku, in a way, works hard in where he kind of analyzes every hero. Mm -hmm. While um, Asta works on, like, getting physically strong. Yeah, and Does they all sense? have to go somewhere. Okay, so yeah, Asta and you know, obviously, they went to go take the, the exam. Um, exam. And then <laughs> when we were watching, when we reacted to My Hero... Uh, Deku was gonna go to the UA. Yeah, the UA exam, yeah. the hero exam. Mm -hmm. If you guys do watch the reaction videos of those episodes, literally we ended at the same spot. Yeah, and that's not really all that bad, but like it made me feel like, yo, there's like a similarity mm -hmm. to like the the format of the story. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's why it's like an eight point five. But when we talk about like like character designs, like it's. It's just as good as like One Piece, you know, where it's just kind of like, yo, um, Asta has a unique design as much mm -hmm. as like Deku, you know, and all the other heroes that they have, you know. I mean, there is some similarities with like Marvel mm -hmm. superheroes and stuff. All right, behind the art asks, how does watching all the openings before watching the anime feel like as you are exposed to a lot of spoilers, which could spoil some of your reaction in the future? you would have an idea what what's what? going to happen okay this is what i have to say and i've said it so many times um watching openings is kind of like watching a trailer and Kinda. kind of right so um by the time that we're reacting to literally the anime uh videos episodes uh i'm gonna forget what the opening is honestly i have like bad memory uh and it's but not yeah. just that really but if we're really if we're really gonna break down and really go into details about like does openings really spoil reactors to watching the series mm -hmm. i could see it because in one piece the only thing that really spoiled us was we knew who was gonna be on the crew mm -hmm. 
Well, you seen. I it. I did. I yeah. Don't we know. I know who's gonna be on the crew, and I know their names. Mm -hmm. That's about it. But other than that, I do not know what you guys are talking about when you guys bring up. Oh, this arc is gonna be the saddest. Oh, this arc is going to make you like, you know, hate this character more. Like, it does not give me enough detail. Here's one thing that I I, I want to say is that if you do watch and you've seen One Piece, like the whole One Piece, right? And you go back to the openings, of course you'll know what are the spoilers. You'll right. know what like what happens because you have an idea. But mm -hmm. coming into the, the openings and coming into the series blindly, it's like you only know so little. It's not even really enough to spoil us, I guess, mm -hmm. if you really think about that. Like when we watched Black Clover, we came up with like theories, we paid attention to how how the opening was like yo and still we go back to the series of black clover like we don't know shit about black Clover. <laughs> right we don't you'll only take in so little from the opening mm -hmm. to the point where you're just like you, it gets you more curious than more of you like dang i already know this part mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying does that make sense we get these questions a lot so mm -hmm. <laughs> hopefully it answers your question oh riz zero is This is a long one. Mm -hmm. Um, this is more of a suggestion more than a question. It would be dope if you'd react to the One Piece openings at their last episode or at the end of the arc. I get why you won't watch them because they sometimes contain spoilers, but some of them are a lot better after knowing what's behind them. Or you could do a reaction to all of them once you've caught up in the future. It would be dope to see you reacting to them with said knowledge to avoid getting completely off topic here's a question for you what are your favorite one piece characters so far okay so the suggestion i just want to say we've seen the openings already yeah we've seen the i've seen the openings already so um mm -hmm. we do watch the openings right before we watch the react uh the the series anyway so yeah a lot of people would say it's there's a lot of spoilers but honestly we've answered that last question there's mm -hmm. really not much you know to go off of openings and um favorite character so far from one piece yeah okay so you can start uh so far my favorite characters um obviously luffy gotta love luffy yeah um and sanji mm. those are my right now my top two favorite would be zaro and shanks Zoro and Shanks. You've barely seen anything. I know, Shanks, but though. Shanks was badass when we first met him. He was. Yeah. So, like, I mean, I, I wouldn't say Shanks because, yeah, I don't know, like, I don't know a lot that about him. That makes sense, him, yeah. But, um, I mean, the ones that I know a lot are basically Luffy and right. Sanji. But if we were to talk about, like, favorite, favorite, it would be Zoro for me, hands down. You guys already know that since the very beginning. Um, All right. So, some other questions. Would you um, consider reacting to Haikyuu? I, personal, I personally recommend it. Yes, we will in the future once we catch up with more of our series um, um, reaction. Mm -hmm. Honestly, we're just so much behind that, you know, we are interested in Haikyuu because we did see the opening on that as well. Mm -hmm. Where are you both from? We are both from California, United States, California, <laughs> uh, Stockton, California. So we're, we're both from california we're both from a small town in california called stockton it's actually pretty big it's big well yeah. technically lodi but stockton we, stockton what <laughs> age are you both um i'm 27 turning 28 this year and i'm 24 dang youngin <laughs> what are your favorite characters from each anime you watch okay so one piece zoro um my hero would be Todoroki, uh, and Black Clover would be Yami. Yami? Yeah. Okay. Well, for me, One Piece, um, like I said, I don't have like a specific one, but I'm going to go with uh, my boy Sanji. <laughs> <laughs> and for Black Clover, I love Asta. Uh -huh. um, and for my hero, I like Deku. Okay. Uh, a lot of the main characters for you, huh? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Would you consider doing what we think so far videos for certain milestone parts of the animes you wa you are watching? Like a video talking about what you like, 
what you don't like, etc. This could also be done by the end of the certain arcs, mm. saga season, especially for One Piece. I would love to see you do this since it's a very long anime. Honestly, we've been thinking about doing that. Mm -hmm. um, especially for like My Hero that we're coming to an end with My Hero. We kind of want to summarize everything that we thought of mm -hmm. about first the first season, you know. And um, we'd like to do that with One Piece as well. But the fact that it's so long, um, every arc, we'd have to kind of stop and make a video about, you know, we thought about that arc. So maybe we'll take the suggestion of just doing it once we finish the yeah. whole thing, you know. And this is not actually a question, but picking up from the idea I left in the previous question and your intention to do a My Hero Academia's character costume, I ask of you to do more videos about the animes you're watching. Side videos, either ranking things, location, locations, characters, costumes, art, sagas, whatever, or talking about other stuff. Possibilities are endless. Yes, that's a mm -hmm. very, very good suggestion. Honestly, we'd love to do, um, like, you know different videos that includes the animes that we're reacting to mm -hmm. so we're gonna think about doing something like that i know for my hero we kind of want to do a um like rating costumes yeah from like i don't know one to ten or something right um or once we get to know black clover a little bit more maybe we'll do something that that involves you know talking mm -hmm. about black clover and obviously one piece you mm -hmm. know all right so on to the next question by the way, thank you so much for, for the suggestions. We will honestly take those in consideration. Sandy asks, he's got four questions. Question one, as you know, the big three, Dragon Ball series, Naruto, and One Piece. And as I think you've seen both Naruto and DB except One Piece. So how would you guys rank these three above? Though it's early, as I've seen you giving Naruto references many times as early as it is to rank, it's still you've seen the base world. Question two, if you must compare big threes, anime's world, in which would you want to enter? Find yourself happy considering life threat, friends, fun, and environment. You can consider yourself the main character. All right, let's answer that first. Okay, so... I've never... Like I said, I've never seen a lot of animes. I've never seen, um, what's it called? Dragon Ball. Yeah, I've never seen Dragon Ball. I've seen Naruto, but I've only seen the first one. Right. Um, and One the first Piece. Half of it. Yeah, and One Piece. I, 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 I wouldn't know how to rate them, but between Naruto and One Piece, um, obviously, I love Naruto <laughs> so far that I, what I've seen. Naruto's fun, and One Piece is too. Like, I can't pick. Okay. But if I had to live in either both of those two, um, I think I would want to live in the Naruto world. For me, I would have to go. Naruto and One Piece is so hard to, to really um, compare, really, because I've seen Naruto <laughs> all the way through. Um, my only thing is I hated how they came up with Baruto. Mm. I know a lot of you guys are a fan of Baruto, but I felt like it should have just ended at Naruto and like, but the the fact that they added a little bit more, I kind of kind of just kind of like eh, made it worse for me because I didn't even keep up with Baruto. But Naruto, I felt like there was a fight that like the the Great World War thing, whatever, mm -hmm. or the Shinobi War. I felt like that was way too stretched out. So I would go with One Piece. Naruto and Dragon Ball. Uh, for me, Dragon Ball really is. I don't like Dragon Ball. Like I grew up watching it. It's a classic. It's something that everyone's just like, "Yo, you, if you're an anime fan, you gotta love Dragon." No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest with you. It's just. I it's, feel like it's too repetitive. What I've seen. Yeah, it's yeah. way too repetitive. There's you know, a main character, a villain, super strong dude. Mm main character gets beat up he recovers he fights and wins and so on and so forth like mm -hmm. it becomes way too repetitive there's really no story for me in there um and actually let's take my answer back i would want to live in the one piece world oh okay go ahead <laughs> why, why don't you just do not go because no now i think about one piece and i would want to be with luffy <laughs> oh okay. and sanji <laughs> okay uh so for me i would want to live in uh, I, I, I'd want to live in the Naruto world. 
You would? I'd, I would want to live in the Naruto world. But I'm in the One Piece world. Yeah, you're in the One Piece world. We want to be with Luffy and Sanji, like you said. Who are you going to be with? Who are you, you going to be friends with? Um, Kakashi. Oh, uh, Kakashi's <laughs> dope. <laughs> yeah, so um, I think Naruto world is just... Uh, because One Piece world, I felt like it's it's an adventure to the open sea, which is cool, man. But I'm kind of like more... Land? Closed in, uh-huh. kind of like a peaceful village, almost like Shikamaru, or just like super lazy. I just want, just want <laughs> to have a chill as day. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, so Naruto rolled for me. Um, but One Piece World, I just, it's just because it's just... You're always out there. I mean, I could just be one of the villagers, you know what I'm saying? But then once a pirate yeah, attacks the village, I'm just like, to, yo. You get to explore. Yeah, but I'm saying I I really don't want that, though. Like, I, don't, I really don't want to be out in the sea. Like, I just want to be in, like I'm saying, like a like peaceful just in place. Like, just stay there? Yeah, like, say, if I, if I could be, like, a shinobi, right? And mm-hmm. I could be just in the village. Like, yo, I could protect the village. Yeah. At the same time, I could chill at home. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Versus to One Piece, like if I could be, if I become the villagers, if a, a, a fucking pirate comes in and attacks us, like I don't, I can't, I can't, I can't protect anyone. I'm gonna be like, if Arlong takes over, yeah. You well, know same what I'm thing saying? If you were in the, uh, like, no. let's say if you were in the Leaf vi- Village, if or I was whatever. in the Leaf Village, I could have been a shinobi, like, like you still like gotta a fight. Kakashi. Yeah, I still gotta fight. At least I know how to fight. Okay. At least I know how to fight. Okay. If I, if I, okay, if I okay, okay, you know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah. You got to be a, a pirate in order to actually, well, technically have some sort of ability to fight. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got to be a badass at least. And and that means you got to go out in the sea. Like, I don't want to go out in the sea. Mm-hmm. I want to be in a village chilling. You feel me? Okay. So I deserve to ask one, one piece question for both. Uh, Ives and Daisy Question 3 If you could eat One devil fruit What powers You would like You guys can make up Literally anything So this is totally different From the last question mm-hmm. About um, uh, The devil fruit What powers Would I want to be um, It'd be Kind of cool To Control Like The weather The weather Just like The weather bro Like If, if I could just like get a lightning like you know what i'm saying or yeah. make it windy like that would be kind of cool like to be able to control the weather for me for me it would be not like time traveling but like to control time like slow it down mm. fast forward or you know or like go back i become too op you gotta have some kind of like downfall to that but you know well that's kind of cool though controlling time you know sometimes you want to Taking the moment, slow things down. Time goes by way too quick. <laughs> yeah, you're right. As you guys know, anyone who watches someone's channel for too long, they'll consider them family. And I first subscribed for One Piece, but I'm liking it here so far, and I'm glued to it till One Piece ends, which I think is not gonna happen anytime soon. Well, mm-hmm. hopefully, you still stick around. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> till then, I hope you guys cross at least one million for, m- if not more. Mm-hmm. Question four. Thank you, by the way, Sandy. Truly mm-hmm. appreciate that. Question four. So you guys thought about intro maybe after 50K or 100K. I'm going to wait till then. We had an intro back then, which was kind of lit. But we had problems with the music. Yeah, that's why we don't put it on anymore. Yeah. But we're thinking of maybe having one, which I've seen so many reactors that have like yeah. literally some lit ass intros. Yeah. And um, yeah, so hopefully, hopefully we can get one done. We don't want to do one that's just like an anime intro though, because mm-hmm. I feel like this channel is so much more than just like anime reaction as much as it's more than just a musical reaction channel. I feel like we want to make this channel where it's, it's open for everyone, where mm-hmm. everyone can come like when they have a bad day. They can come and just watch whatever, you know, the reaction that we are doing. So I want to pay homage to what made this channel the way it is before it became a channel reacting to anime. Does that make mm-hmm. sense? So, like, I want to I wanna make a re- uh, uh, an intro that involves just our character, like, our personality. So that once you come in, you already know it stands out. It's different. It's not your typical anime channel like we don't mm-hmm. we don't want to do that like that becomes way too repetitive for everyone anyways you know 
So we are thinking about an intro. We'll get to it. Hopefully, 50k. Mm-hmm. Anime commenter, what's your favorite anime? And if you think One Piece will take that spot, so considering One Piece is not our favorite anime right now, mm-hmm. what is your favorite anime? And you think One Piece can take that spot? That I've completely yeah. seen. Yeah. My favorite anime um, that I've seen. See, I haven't seen a lot, but um, I, well, obviously, I would have to go with the first one that I've ever seen, which that was Death Note. Death Note <laughs> one because it was freaking crazy. I, I I couldn't pick sides. Like I wanted, like yeah, I just couldn't pick sides. Right, so it was just fucking intense and. Uh, being my first, I think that would be like the one that really got me hooked yeah. into anime. So, but would One Piece take that spot? Would One Piece take that spot? Yeah. Oh, okay. My favorite anime uh, I've really seen was Naruto. Mm-hmm. Um, that's the first anime that made me see anime for more than just fighting. It literally showed me about stories, mm. plot twists, um, character development. So, Naruto for me, would One Piece take it? Like I said, I wish Naruto would have ended it better. Mm. Because if they did, One Piece would never probably take that spot. Mm-hmm. But considering that it was just w- way too stretched out at the very end and then to come up with another anime that's related to it which is Baruto Mm -hmm. which I feel like in my opinion did not really do justice to what Naruto was Mm -hmm. you know just way too many things that happened after Naruto and it became way too repetitive so if Naruto would have ended it much better One Piece wouldn't take it but now Yes, One Piece will take it. Considering we haven't seen One Piece and hopefully One Piece is... It continues to become the anime that I feel like it is. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, Sis sis (laughs) Learner. How many animes have you watched? And if a good amount, then who is the best writer in your opinion that you'll like to meet to ask him something about the anime? Not considering One Piece because you haven't seen any of Oda's. I would want to ask. Uh, I don't even know the writers for 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 Naruto. Mm-hmm. I honestly, I've never really paid attention to writers until now. Like I've always been just the 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 guy that watches anime, yeah. not knowing more details about the anime or who the writer was, who the creators of every mm-hmm. you know character was. Until now, the only writer that I really know is Oda. Mm-hmm. Um, but I would want to ask the writer of Naruto why did you end. Naruto the way you did <laughs> like uh-huh. that would be the question that I would ask like why so far I really don't have a best writer mm-hmm. but it would have been Naruto but then the question I would ask like why why did it end the way it did like yeah it wasn't cool man you know uh mine would be one piece like you can't consider it not considering one piece uh, no not one piece I mean uh death note mine would be death note what would be your question what would be my question? Uh, why would you play my feelings like that? <laughs> <laughs> um, Literally, if you guys have not seen Death Note, oh my freaking God. It's going to make you love it, hate it. And it's just like, it's all over. Like, uh Yeah, um, I would really say um, Death Note, the way it ended, it was good. Uh, that's that's why I love that. Okay, maybe the writer of Death Note was mm-hmm. probably my favorite, my best writer so far now. Because... I mean, I don't know if there's going to be a, a sequel to it, but the way we, ended, we tried, sorry, we tried seeing the movie because I, I think they have it on Netflix. It was ass. It was, it was so ass. freaking terrible. Like, I was like, oh, heck no. How could they do this How did they to even Death approach? Note? Yeah, bro. It was, it was, was so bad. If you haven't seen it. No, don't even. Don't, don't even check yeah. it out. Don't even look at it. <laughs> <laughs> um, But yeah, it would be the writer for Death Note for me now that I think about it for sure. <laughs> All right, Edwin Young, based on what's been shown thus far, how do you expect Luffy will use his Devil Fruit ability later in the series? Do you think he'll be able to incorporate other techniques besides just stretching, or do you think he'll continue gum-gum pistoling 
his, his way. way to parking. Nice. Okay. Um. What do you think? I don't know. I mean, if if he's able to do other stuff, then that would be freaking crazy. Yeah. Cause this point at this point, like I I really don't know. So for me, I feel like um, he can incorporate other stuff into it. In in terms of like, I've seen him get big before. So I feel like, what if he can just make his arms like super big and just like super strong? So being strong. I mean. You can. I don't know. I mean, if you're a gum gum, right? Like, say you're like obviously flexibility. Um, he can. He can literally inflate himself. Like, that's what. I, I feel like you can too. Like, you can become strong if yeah. you have that. I don't know. Like super big arms, just like yeah, ready to like knuckle up. Yeah. You know? Um, I picture like SpongeBob when he got his, ex- <laughs> except except he's got strength though, because Luffy's already like super strong already anyway so yeah. i feel like he can incorporate that to make like you know to f- or to fight off like um bigger guys right you know it'd be kind of cool to see mm-hmm. um meepo b rank top five strongest characters in one piece so far sheesh you're strongest really gonna put us in that guys. you're really gonna you're really gonna put us into this position dude um, that's hard i would say that's tough, man. Okay, let's make our, our top five. Okay, rank top five strongest characters. Uh, obviously, I would put... Okay, there's there's going to be a debate between this. And I, I really... I I love this question, but I hate it. Um, would, if, would you pe- I mean, put... Um, uh, uh, this Shanks? is a bias. This is bias. We'll see. We don't know. Well, okay, maybe Shanks will be up there. Uh-huh. Because, yo, he made the Sea King, like... Yeah. Just one look. Uh-huh. Okay, so Shanks on top, right? And then I would put Mihawk. Oh hell yeah! I was gonna th- I was gonna say that Mihawk. Mihawk. He's gotta Heck be in yes, there. Heck yes, he has to be there. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go with Luffy and Zoro for third. Luffy and Zoro. Yeah, I know they're even right now. Okay. Um, the Giants. You would put them in there. I would put them in there. As as number five? As four. So Shanks, Mihawk, Luffy, and Zoro, the Giants. Well, that's bro- already a lot. That's no, but they get the spot. Like, it's oh, hard to choose. okay. So Luffy and Zoro uh-huh, as the Giants. third. Brogy and Dory as fourth. Uh-huh. And then who would be the fifth one? There's so many. I would. I would even put. Okay. Um, we can go Mihawk. Oh, Arlong is in there too. Arlong is super strong too. He was. Uh, I would go Mihawk. Okay, so Shanks, Mihawk. Ooh, a Smoker. I'll put Smoker in there. Okay. Um, Zoro and Luffy and Arlong. Oh, so not the Giants anymore? No. Because <laughs> I feel like Arlong could take the Giants on. Are you think so? Yeah. I think so. Huh. I think Arlong is pretty strong. Imagine if he brings them to the sea. Like, oh, well, I mean, I don't, yeah, I don't they don't. I feel like they have an. Yo, advantage. that's hard. That's a hard question, bro. I would, but <laughs> I'll, I'll give you my top two for now. I think obviously. Well, Shanks and Mihawk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are, but Mihawk, yeah, and Shanks. I haven't. Yeah. I, I mean, we haven't learned much about him, but yeah. Oh my God! No, no, no! I'm gonna, cha- I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna change it. To what? Um, Shanks, Mihawk. That random dude that beat up uh, smokers. Random dude, which one? Remember the the dude that came to help Luffy when he was fighting smoke, smoker. Big Daddy, something like that. No, no, not him. Oh. With the tat, he had. Oh. oh my God. <laughs> I don't know his name. I don't know his name either. Oh wait, no, they did say his name, Dragon. Dragon? Oh, At right. The very yeah, end, they yeah, did yeah, say yeah. his name, Dragon. Yeah, they did. So it was, it's Shanks, Mihawk, Dragon, Dragon Smoker, Luffy, and Zoro. Okay, I, I agree with that. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it just I, I still feel like Luffy or Smoker is still stronger than Luffy at this point. So. Well, at this point, yes. Yeah. Because Luffy has time and, to. And I don't I don't want to hear the part where no Luffy can give him a run for his, no he was getting his ass beat, bro. So <laughs> with that little fight that I've seen, yeah, Smoker over Luffy at this point. Look, Daisy. It's Desi. Desi Shab. Shuba. No, Shu Shab. Will you consider re uploading Tokyo Ghoul in Fire? Because I missed it and it's my favorite opening. Yes, we will consider uh, re uploading it if we can find the file. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I, I know I think we have the file saved somewhere. But I do want to re upload it, maybe kind of tweak it out a little bit. Have you seen Home Free in concert? Are you going to see them? Uh, some different. Uh, so, a Home Free question? No, we have not seen Home Free in concert. And are you going to see them? Yes, in the future. I would love to see Home Free. If they perform in our city or in our... Um, Around our city. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be dope to, like, literally go watch them. Mixo Ting. If you could choose any anime world to live in, which would it be? Again, okay. this was already a question, but... It seems like it could be any anime now. Mm -hmm. um, so if there's any change for you, what would it be? And where would it be? Uh, any anime? You go first. I'm still thinking. Naruto still. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't changed it. Ah. I love the idea of shinobis and uh -huh. ranking up and stuff and just being in the village. Um... I'm still gonna have to go with One Piece. One Piece, really? You like to travel, like the ocean? I would want to travel. What? I, I was, I thought you were gonna be like my hero. My hero is pretty solid too. Oh wait, I take that back. Yes, I'd want to live in my hero, <laughs> <laughs> my hero world. <laughs> Isaiah Conde or Cone, what's the first anime you've watched, or how are you guys doing? Okay, so first anime, my first ever anime that I've ever watched is. Death Note. First ever anime I've ever watched was Yu Yo Hakusho. <laughs> and how are you guys doing? We are doing great. Yes. Hopefully you're doing well as well. Juan Sanchez. We know Ives' favorite character is Zara, but who's Daisy's favorite one? Who is D E I S I boy. <laughs> Just ah, kidding. Bro. Uh my favorite Chill. I can't pick. I can't pick. Uh it's either between Luffy or Sanji. Like I said, I can't pick one. <laughs> mm. So far. So yeah, I can't pick, but it's either between Sanji or, or uh Luffy. But maybe in the future, I don't know, maybe I'll change my mind. <laughs> The Flash Sage. I love your picture, by the way. Yellow Flash, I'm guessing. So, if you guys could have any powers from an anime, what would it be and why? If you could, invisible again? If you could have any powers for an anime. Okay. What you think? Go ahead. I would love to have Kakashi's power where I can do a Chidori. Chidori. Yes, sir. I thought that was pretty dope. Oh, it, we have to pick a character? No. Oh. But in the anime, it would be and why? Any powers from an anime? So any powers from an anime? So for me, some similar to Kakashi. Okay. Um, for me, any powers? Yeah. First, I would have to go with Deku. Okay. So the Smash. Yeah. Would be able to be strong. I'm strong. Okay. So from Clown OP, are you guys going to watch Fairy Tale? It is just like Black Clover. It will be fun if you react to Fairy Tale. Anyways, keep it up. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. um, fairy Tale, yes, but not anytime soon. Um, we gotta catch up with a lot of these uh, series that we're doing. Mm -hmm. Again, it's the uh, same question. Well, it's not the same question, but same answer as some of the ones that are similar to this. Um, there is still Black Clover that we need to catch up on, My Hero Academia. Yeah. Once we finish those and actually like finish the whole series. We'll start a new one. Yeah. Um, so we'll start a new one. But not anytime soon. We are still trying to get Attack on Titan as well. Mm -hmm. And I don't think it's going to happen this month just because there's a lot of things that really came up this month. And we want to get into Attack on Titans as well. Um, maybe in the future we will. Mm -hmm. It's probably going to be paired up with One Piece, Attack on Titans. And um, and maybe fairy tale. Once we finish Black Clover and my Elvor, what is the favorite 
Oh, what is the favorite character of all shows you've reacted to so far? And also, it would be nice to hear the favorite character of every individual show. Maybe just a top five. Okay, so... Um, this is similar to some of the questions we've had. I think you guys already know. Yeah. So, what is our favorite character of all shows you've reacted to so far? Um, every individual show. So, of all shows. So, what would be your super, super favorite, I'm guessing? Mm-hmm. Well, pretty much. Okay, so right now we're doing One Piece. We, You guys already know. Uh, One Piece, and then for Black Clover, I don't think I... Oh, wait, you did say your favorite from yeah. Black Clover. But you got to choose one from that, and then you got to choose an individual on a forever show. Or maybe just a top five. Okay, let's do a, let's do yeah, a top, top five. five. Let's do a f- top five. I would go with Zoro, for me at least. So mm-hmm. Zoro, Yami... Um, Todoroki, Asta, and and who else? Who else? Who else? And Shanks. That's not in order. Oh, it says top five though. So yes. let's go with. Um, dang, this is tough. <laughs> okay, so let's go with. Um, Zoro, Shanks, Yami, Todoroki, and Asta. Okay. Um, mine would have to be, um, my top favorite. This is so hard. Well, we know Sanji and Luffy is your favorite. Okay. Asta is one of them. Put my top five. Okay, I'm gonna have to go with Deku being number one. What? Yeah. Over Sanji and Luffy? Well, hold up. So, my top five. Deku, Sanji, Luffy, Asta, and Todoroki. Okay. Top five. Nice. Merge X. X. What's your videos editor and what would you recommend for starters? Here's the thing. What we use is Sony Vegas to edit our videos. Um, I would recommend you for starter. You can do Sony Vegas because there's a lot of videos for you to learn. Um, to help you learn the software mm-hmm. um, or you can just go with what you have on your laptop which is or laptop or computer or MacBook I think MacBook has iMovie mm-hmm. um, the uh, Windows Movie Maker is for um, Windows so those regular ones you can start off with because Sony Vegas you either got to know how to get it for free or you got to know <laughs> um, you got to buy it yeah. and it's super expensive so one of the two Omar is I'm sorry we can't say your name bro so, Omar Omar who are your favorite villains in anime and which pirate crew is your favorite so far so we've we've not we've, we haven't seen a lot of pirate crew yet mm-hmm. um it's obviously the straw hat for us because <laughs> a lot of the pirates crew just super piss us off besides buggy <laughs> favorite yeah. villain in anime if the, if it's just in anime in general my favorite villain would be Madara Uchiha from Naruto. Okay. My favorite villain would have to be Hawkeye. He's not a villain. Well. No, they fought him, but he's not a villain, bro. <laughs> he's one of the good guys. Uh, I don't have a favorite villain, all right? You don't like Buggy? I like Buggy. Yeah, he's a he was a villain at some point. Yeah, but it's he's a villain. Oh, Buggy's a villain. What is? Or what you in, or you can even use Light Yagami from from Death Note. It's just any anime. Villains in but anime. Light, he is not a villain. He's a both main character and a villain. Let us know down below. <laughs> he if is you, not a villain. Let us know down below, it's cause Light was a villain and the main character at the same time. Mm-hmm. He was the villain. I don't know, man. See, this is why I'm telling you guys it's twisted. Like, I don't know. He a villain? I'd go with uh, Buggy. Yeah, Buggy is like a villain right now. He's like an anti-villain or anti-hero. Okay, if, well, if we're really... I'll go with Buggy. Yeah. So, I would consider Buggy. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't do Blister you, Kirk? You guys, you guys come up with like crazy names, man. I'm sorry, I can't say your name. It's B Lit Zerk. Uh, Zerk. Oh, B Lit Zerk. Uh, will you be getting any One Piece merchandise? Yes, Heck yeah. we will. If you guys didn't Hands know, up. 
We have the only That's one not that a we merchandise. have. Well, it's not a merchandise, but it's a purchase. We have Zoro up there. <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus, it's not a merchandise. <laughs> All right, let's go. Next one. Just a woman that never dies. Is that? Yeah, just a woman that never dies. That's um, that's the fifth Okage. What's her name? Tsunade. That's Tsunade, man. Picture. Uh huh. What anime will you start next? Don't know yet. I know we have one. Attack on Titan is probably the next one that we're gonna do. I think that's the closest one to. Really. Dude, that one's gonna be crazy. Yeah. So you guys tune in for that. Gone. Will you react to Inuyasha? <laughs> it is an old anime, but it's good. I do want to react to Inuyasha. See, this is my perspective as for me right now. I do want to react to Inuyasha. I I've seen it. She hasn't. So Wait, so you've seen it? The I've whole seen Inuyasha. Oh. I've seen everything about Inuyasha, bro. Okay, well, I have not seen it. So, maybe, but it's not a priority right now. But, maybe. DK, Drift King, YouTube Inspiration. Yo, there's a lot of things that inspired us on YouTube since we started. If you're talking about what got us um, into Maybe. YouTube, mm -hmm. um, I would say was during the vlogging days with um, Jesse and Gina, Dope Fresh Nation. You already know. Those were the people that actually inspired us. Yeah, it's it crazy. was those. It if, was you guys, them. if you guys do not know, we started with another channel. This is kind of this was supposed to be our second channel, this was and. And now it's you know obviously it's our main channel, um, but yeah, they. I think a lot us. of you guys have seen the old the older channel. Oh though. please don't! It's like so cringe. We did <laughs> we did so many like challenges, pranks on each other. Like Jesse and Gina from Dope Fresh Nation, they're the one that really inspired us, and it sucks yeah. that they had to split up. But they're the one that they're they're the one that truly truly inspired us to start this thing. Mm -hmm. Um. I would have to really say uh, Fuzzy Tube as well. Mm -hmm. During those days, he was doing the vlogging days. Um, yeah. Casey Neistat, those were our YouTube inspirations. What really inspired me mo mo the most um, from that is because not only that they were truly successful, but they're doing it for the right reason, like entertainment for mm -hmm. their viewers. That's what we want to do to be able to entertain you guys. Mm -hmm. And not so much about money, but we do want to be successful on YouTube, mm -hmm. uh, like financially as well. But um, like we want to make this our career, right? Like our full on career. So. At least the thing that's going to get us going for, mm -hmm. you know, a long time you know what i'm saying yeah, so this is something that we enjoy doing right. so um yeah ibrahim Hussein, um or Hussein. um what do you think the one piece will be by the way oda has confirmed that it's gonna be a physical treasure so no true true friendship or love mm -hmm. laugh out loud <laughs> Mm. <laughs> I seen a comment says one piece was like, you know the the one piece that you wear when you go swimming. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Someone put that in there so I cannot stop thinking about that. So. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Um, uh, that's a clever uh, answer, by the way. Um, mm -hmm. What would be the one piece? What would be? I feel like okay. So if one piece is lightweight, kind of like the anime that i feel like sometimes it's kind of like trolly a little bit uh -huh. um what about that one piece will be the map to the actual treasure that is called the one piece that one piece is that one piece of paper <laughs> <laughs> so you think it's, it's the one piece of paper that says okay um well this is the one piece the one piece or no it doesn't just say this is the one piece it's it's a map to the one piece so after one piece like you know how luffy and then oh, goes to okay. the adventures of uh -huh. okay now we find the one piece this is the treasure uh -huh. this is the one piece it's a paper that says okay well this is the map to the actual treasure uh-huh so now it, it creates another yeah adventure for to like keep going yeah so i feel like I, that's what it is okay i can see that but yeah to this point i don't know what it is it's yeah. it could be something random like not like not saying it's stupid but like you know something that you wouldn't be like really they went all this yeah. way for that <laughs> but then again i feel like a lot of the fans will be mad if it's just like i feel like it could I don't think no fans would be mad if it was a piece of paper that says, hey, this is the actual map to the One Piece. Mm -hmm. So now it starts off a whole new adventure. So yeah. I'm just thinking, like, you know. Mm -hmm. The feature wise. Yeah. Osti Ervanti. Have you ever watched. Clan? 
Clan, Clanad, the series always cracked me up. No, we have not, and I don't even know how to read that. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, wow, yeah, I, just, I, just, I just totally butchered that. Um, no, we haven't. Yeah. So, if you can link it down below, maybe we'll check it out. Crazy Monkey, my question. So, when did you guys meet first each other? How, where, and do you guys have any goal rather than YouTube? So do we have any other goal than rather than YouTube? Um, so the, to answer your first question, we met on Instagram, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, apparently we went to the same school. So we did go to the same school. He had yeah, a girlfriend back then. I would always like. I knew who he was. He was not. I was super popular. No, you were not. What? You were not. What? Anyways, Hater. I knew the girl. I didn't even he know who you dating. were. Well, exactly. I only I only knew him because I knew the girl he was dating Loser. back then, and that's the only reason, you know. And then and then you followed me. I was like, oh, I know this dude. Like this dude is. <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, but, dude, yeah, this dude is handsome. And, uh, Chill, so like bro. when he followed me, I'm like, oh, it's him who dated her in high school. Yeah, and and then that's how we started talking. Yep. So where would probably be Instagram? <laughs> <laughs> um, any goal rather than YouTube? No, this is our plan A, and we're sticking to it. There's no plan B, baby. <laughs> There's no plan B. <laughs> Let's go, go big or go home. Yeah. Um, Miragu. If you had your own pirate crew, which characters from any anime would you want in it? Wow, this Ooh. one's this one's tough. Okay, so I would want me as the captain, right? Well, obviously this is our own pirate crew. So uh -huh. me as the captain, I would want Shanks, <laughs> Kakashi, Zoro. Uh huh. Um. I would want. I don't want to get anything from Dragon Ball either. Like that could be super over OP, but nah. Uh, I think I'll stick with that for now. Okay. Well, for me, I'm the captain. I right. so then I would want to have Sanji as my cook. <laughs> oh shit! We need no. A cook. You can't say that. Um, I picked Sanji already. Dang it. So Sanji as my cook. Obviously, I would want to have a chopper because if you guys, uh, what I've seen, he's like kind of like a like like a nurse. So if someone, if some of my crew get her, I would want to have him. Um, also, I would want to have uh, Naruto because he'll make me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah we'll go on adventures uh also deku because we need strength um you know whenever we need to like fight someone or whatever um who else do i want i'd go with a hawkeye because we need a horseman okay <laughs> dang okay now you made me rethink what i want okay i'll stop there okay are you changing anything so i'm gonna change mine um i do want my swordsman as um, Shanks and Zara. I'll stick with that. Kakashi being, you know, smart enough to navigate the place. So we got a navigator there. And, um, well, no, actually, no, he'll just be like strength and, well, he's smart too. So, yeah, so Kakashi in there. I would want the cook from Ichiku Ramen because we do need a cook. Uh. <laughs> yeah, we do need a cook. So he. Yeah. Okay, okay. I Ichiku Ramen. Uh huh. Um, I do want obviously Todoroki is in there too, so just because he's badass. Um, also, mm, we need a doctor, we need a doctor, so I'll, I'll take I'll take uh, I'll take Sakura Sakura okay. as our um, our our doctor, our healer. Mm -hmm. Um, and mm -hmm. um, shit, that's mostly Naruto characters, bro. <laughs> Cause they're just so versatile when it comes to abilities. Uh -huh. Um, and that's it. I'll stick with that for now. I'll stick with that for now. Okay. I'll I'll add one more. I'll add Gara to my crew. Mm. Okay. Um, BRB. How long does it take for you guys to edit videos? Dude, a total of at least one piece videos for me takes about two to three hours. Yeah. Because we got to cut. We got to make sure everything is good. But two to three hours to edit videos. When we're editing like uh, My Hero or um, Black Clover, that takes like about uh, 
like about like an hour an hour and a half everything being done but like obviously the rendering it's, it's a little bit more yeah. um but i do have to say it used to take more because we used to have some crappy laptops and yeah. now we have uh better ones which obviously we cut the time in half so right. it's obviously much faster but um yeah, Bro, yeah. mr a <laughs> where are you guys from stockton california united states <laughs> no really <laughs> no so yeah england <laughs> no. england no but uh we're from the u.s california stockton, stockton. leandra silvio what do you guys do for a living what is your favorite thing about the about each other to be fair i will answer too laugh out loud i'm a nurse hubby is a truck driver we've been together 21 years i'm wow. 41 he's 48 and to this day, I love, and he still makes me laugh every single day. Wow. Okay, thank Aww. you. That's, that's, wow. Mm. That's goals, man. That is. That's goals. 21 years. How long have you been with me? Five. Five. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, what do you guys do for a living? We work in a natural school program. Mm -hmm. um, if you guys have kids, then it's basically, you know, where you take your kids, where, where your kids go after school, basically. Mm -hmm. um, so that's what we do. I'm technically a coach for basketball. I didn't mention that last time, but mm -hmm. you did. Um, I do coach kids because we do have like, well, we go up against other schools uh, for after school program. And so I do coach for basketball as well. Or is it, what is your favorite thing about the other? Favorite thing about the other is that she's super, super fucking clean, bro. Like, <laughs> oh really? You like that about me? I do. It's okay. it's annoying, but I do. <laughs> okay. I mean, especially when she nags me about like being clean. Like, yo, thank you. I uh, that's one thing I would say I, I appreciate about you, and something that's I would say you, my favorite thing about you, and the thing that I hate. <laughs> it's like you hate it, but you love it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because obviously, who doesn't want to come home to a clean house? Okay. No. Um, my favorite thing about you, babe. That's because I'm funny as shit. No, huh. my favorite thing about him is that he cooks. So oh. he he's he's a cook. I I'll clean. He cooks. Yeah. Um. So, and obviously he makes me laugh all the time. So I'm funny as shit. <laughs> <laughs> the toxic burger. Hey, if you stack one lasagna on top of the uh. <laughs> If you stack one lasagna on top of another, is it one or two lasagnas? Lasagnas. Um, if you stack <laughs> one lasagna on top of another, is it one or two? Uh, is it? <laughs> well, actually, it's one because with lasagna, you can go as high as you want. You're right. So You're there's, right. it's not Clever two. Question, though. Clever it's question. one. I thought it was gonna be three. Why would it no, be I'm three? <laughs> no, it's one. Come on. Yeah. One. Come on. Come Come on. on. Rico537, if you could change something about your studio without worrying about expense, what would you do? If I could change something about this? I, I would just want to make it bigger. And so that it's more comfortable for, like, say, if we film and we have, like, friends over, they don't got to worry about, like, you know yeah i would want to have like place where it's just there we don't have to move anything it's right. just there so whenever we film it's it's already set up right so that's something we want to change just make it bigger mm -hmm. vera b 25 quick question you think y'all will ever do a reaction to non-anime shows yes Yes, that's actually in consideration right now. Mm -hmm. If you guys can help us out with what would be a non-anime shows, let us that know down dope. below. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We're open to a lot of stuff. Remember, this channel is all for entertainment, man. Mm -hmm. It's not just for... We're not your typical anime reaction channel, your musical reaction channel. Like, no. Nah, like, I don't, I don't want to have that title. We're here just to react, to entertain at the same time. Like, right. show you guys our personality for you guys to like us for us. This is why we say, if you don't like our reaction, do not subscribe. You know what I'm saying? And we mean that, truly. Mm -hmm. So, any uh, non-anime shows, like, let us know, man. We're open to it. Mm -hmm. Zariana Torres. Um, Who's your favorite One Piece character? Why? What's your favorite anime? Why? Top three favorite One Piece character. Um, who's your favorite My Hero Academia character? Why? Who's your favorite Black Clover character? Why? I think we've answered 
S- some Most of those. Of, yeah. Um, I've been asking myself this question a lot. It's pretty hard, but if you could choose three anime worlds to live in, which one would it be and why? You've answered that as well. Mm-hmm. I know you guys haven't gotten that far and seen that many devil fruits, but if you could have a devil fruit from One Piece, which would it be and why? Okay, so um, I think we've answered a lot of those questions, but I just want to go into details a little bit more. Um, mm-hmm. Who's your favorite One Piece character and why? Well, we've already said Zoro for me um, because he's just super badass. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite anime and why? Um, for you, Death Note. Death right? Note, yeah. Um, for me, it would be Naruto. Okay. Um, why? Because well, Naruto was one of th- was the first anime that r- ever really showed me stories like backstories, histories, character development. Mm-hmm. And yours, obviously, uh, it's because it was plot twist. Plot shit. twist. I love that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Top three favorite um, One Piece character: um, Zoro, Shanks, and Mihawk. Uh, Sanji, Luffy. You gotta put Chopper in there. Chopper, I feel like. We, we don't even I don't know. know, about know about I don't Chopper. know. Yeah, I don't know a lot, of, a lot about Chopper. But you, th- uh, you thought he was cute, so. He is cute. He's adorable. Actually, you know what? For being, ad- being adorable, uh, Sanji, Luffy, Chopper. Who's your favorite My Hero Academia character and why? Um, Todoroki. Uh, Todoroki. Oh, Todoroki and Ida. Because Ida is just super badass too, bro. I just love his his character design. Okay, well, mine, Todoroki and Deku. Todoroki is dope. Bro. He is. <laughs> we gotta we gotta find one of those mm-hmm. for him. He's badass. <laughs> um, who's your favorite Black Clover character and why? Yami because he reminds me of myself, buff, strong, and badass. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, you took it too far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little too far. Oh, I mean the buff part. Um, <laughs> Asta because he's obviously funny. Um, and it's just like it's an adventure with him. <laughs> <laughs> I've been asking myself this question a lot, pretty hard. But if you could choose three anime worlds to live in, so this one we get to choose three. Okay. One of them was uh One Piece. I mean, um, was Naruto for Naruto. me. Um, I love the Inuyasha world, also just so i mean eh, no no actually no there's there's too much drama in in the yasha a little bit like so many demons going on like Uh, uh, you you won't get it but okay um no not in the yasha so a naruto for me oh shit um so for me would be naruto would be one of them um See, I don't like Dragon Ball, but I love the idea of their world. I, I mm. love how their world is, really. Um, so, Dragon Ball seems like a peaceful place to live in. At the same time, obviously, there's always, like, villains that are trying to destroy the planet. But mm. at the end of the day, if, if you got, like, characters like Goku who can protect it, I think, I think I'm cool with that. And plus, you got Shenron who can bring you back to life, you know? So, <laughs> so Dragon Ball for me, Dragon Ball, or Naruto Dragon Ball. Um... Let's go with, let's go with Bleach. Also, Bleach? I think uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I'll go with Bleach. I just like the idea of just like, I mean, besides them fighting like, like those hollows and stuff. Like, mm-hmm. at the end of the day, like I, I think it was pretty dope to kind of live in there, just kind of like a normal student life. Like I don't know, I kind of, I kind of want to live in Japan, like right, because of like. Their student life is 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 it just seems so dope. Like mm-hmm. when I watched Tokyo Drift, I was like, that's kind of cool, man. <laughs> you know, so so yeah. Um, um, mine would have to be One Piece because um I get to obviously travel. <laughs> um, two would have to be Naruto because um I would want to see um Gara. <laughs> uh, that's your why? Yeah, I want to be able to be with Gara. That's your why? That's my why, yeah. Okay. I love Gar. Okay. <laughs> and number three would have to be my hero. Actually, no, I'll do my hero and then Naruto. Okay. Yeah, and my hero because obviously like the like the scenes that they have of like the place. It's kinda nice. It's yeah. yes, it's like it seems peaceful. I think I'm gonna change my bleach no i'm gonna change dragon ball for my hero actually 
Yeah. And you guys haven't gotten that far, but okay, so if you could have a devil fruit from one piece, which would it be? So why? Um See, I, this is a different question from mm-hmm. the other one. So, whose devil fruit would you want to have? Yeah. I would want I think you said smokers. I want something similar to smoker. Okay. So maybe smoker. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Um, I really don't know. Oh, actually, Chopper. Yeah, he has a human, human. Yeah, form. I would want to be. So nothing happens to you. I can, I can transform. No, you can't. Oh, I only an animal. animal that eats human, human fruit will get the the trait of a human. <sighs> you can have Dalton. Dalton. Yeah. Actually, He's the one that can turn yeah, into an I know, animal. I know. Actually, no, I take that back. I would want to be cute like uh, <laughs> like Chopper, but I would want to have... Oh, gosh, it's hard. Alveda? Makes her, like, skin, like, super smooth. No. I um, you'd want that. No. I'll go... I'll just have to go with Luffy. Stretch? Yep. Okay. Because, you know, if I, if I want something, I can just go... <laughs> Sorry, if I want something, I just go like and I grab it. Chill, you almost put this on the laptop. <laughs> Sorry. Man. All right, so that's the question. Next one. I did post a story, and you guys left uh, 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 questions in there. Yo, I accidentally did not screenshot it. I only remember one because um, this is a really good friend of mine that asked the question. Okay. Stowers does it all. Asked. The question, what anime were you most excited about and or what anime were you looking forward to watch but did not end up liking it? Yeah, but did not end up liking it. That, I think it's somewhere around, around that line because uh-huh. I remember that question. Um, So Star Wars does it all. As, uh, so the question to your, uh, so the answer to your question is, the anime that I wanted to watch but did ended up not liking it. I have not. I'll let you think about it. Um, I have not watched a lot of anime. Basically, every anime that I've watched, I finished. I, I wasn't ever like, uh, I don't, I'm not feeling it. Um, I'm sorry. I started watching uh, Hunter x Hunter and I do like that one. I just haven't finished it. I, I've seen so much anime that I have not finished. So, uh, but this does not mean that I don't like it. It's just, I don't have time. Yeah, I, I've never really come across any anime that I did not finish. I remember watching Blue Exorcist and actually went in and finished that. Fate Stay Night, which was, um, it started off, no, actually no, Fate Stay Night series were pretty cool. But there is, like, Blue Exorcist for me was probably the kind of like the weakest one. Mm-hmm. But... Even that I finish, and I'd give that a, a good, like, 6 out of 10. So, I mean, I finished all the animes, like, yeah, I finished all of them. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you I'm were just, never like, eh, I'm not going to watch, watch No, I've, 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 I've finished all okay. of them. Okay, you just give them, like, a bad rating, like. Well, it's not a bad rating, it's just not, you know, I wouldn't give them, like, high rating. All right. But, um. Okay, what's something that you've watched you would never watch again? Oh, okay. Well, that's a good question. Um, shit, man. Would you uh, watch Dragon Ball Z again? No. No. I'd play the game, but no, <laughs> I would not watch Dragon Ball Z again. Okay. Um, and um, and even that, I'd probably give it like a good like a seven, okay. seven out of ten. Like still better than Blue Exorcist, mm-hmm. but I'd still watch Blue Exorcist just because it's not repetitive. Okay. Yeah. So, Dragon Ball, I would not watch it again, but I do, I do um, respect the the show being the most classic. I know the most classic anime that I know because I grew up watching it, and mm-hmm. I'm not gonna lie, man. I want to be like Goku at some point. You know, <laughs> I but, mean, it's so popular, right? Yeah, it is. It yeah. is. It is the most popular. One of the most popular. That's what's the big three. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, it's not something that. I would not really enjoy watching because it's just way too repetitive for me. Yeah, I, 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 honestly, I think one of the best arc in Dragon Ball Z was 
the Android arc, and a lot of you guys probably would disagree, but I felt like the Android arc was probably the most detailed um, story that I've had, and I love, or that they've had, and I love the plot twist on that shit. And I think that was the best arc, hands down. Um, that's it. <laughs> All right, so that's it for the Q&A, man. This was so amazing. Thank you so much for 25,000 subscribers. Closing in on 26,000, almost to 30K, man. Remember, the goal is 100,000. And I love the idea that we have 25,000 subscribers that are genuinely here watching us for our reaction. So uh, before you guys do click off, we want to know a little bit something about you guys as well. Yep. Um, let us know where are you guys from? So is it either like, you know, a different country or out of California? Because like you guys have heard, we're from California. So are you watching from a different state? Let us know down in the comment section. Also, we do want to know where you guys are from. We do want to see how far has this channel reached? Mm -hmm. That's that's. That's the main curious question for me right now. Mm -hmm. um, and also, if you could um, have, if, if you ate a devil fruit, what would it be? And also, if you were an anime character, who would you be and what world would you live at? So it could be like this character, but you would want to be in this. Okay. No. Those are the questions that we have for you guys. Go ahead and answer them down in the comments, man. Truly mm -hmm. appreciate you guys once again. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you guys did enjoy our video today, do not forget to subscribe. Also, do not forget to leave a comment down below. Or uh, Also, do not forget to subscribe with notifications on. Mm -hmm. So you don't miss out on future videos. 50K, we'll probably do another Q&A. Or maybe 100K when we hopefully unbox our you know, <sighs> play button. That would be dope. And hopefully some of you guys that asked the question on here today, we get to see you guys on the 100K. Yeah. And that's that's something special for us at this point mm -hmm. uh that being said guys we'll see you guys next time salute bye